sideways too far and caught another truck and it just collected two or three others at crash. And that will be the break that Kyle Larson needs to get that free pass and get back on the lead lap. And now we can grab a few... I think I had a problem or something. <laughs> no shit. You can see William Byron was collected again. William made three heavy contacts. Uh, this is a, a good time for Larson to get that free pass built because he's going to have a few laps to try to gain some spots before the next caution. Remember that second segment, the second segment, will end at approximately 90 laps. Watch this, it's completed 73. <laughs> Johnny Sauter was involved in that also. Here's a different look, you see. Yeah, he was he was in a process of spinning out, it looked like, and Brandon Brown came along an innocent bystander on the inside, as as did William Byron and Johnny Sauter. This will be a night that young William Byron will never forget. It might break right up there with that first victory he got this year. That's <laughs> memorable. Which Johnny Sauter was involved in. Oh, that was nothing. That was nothing. This looks familiar. <laughs> this is like the most they've ever uh, been like this at El Goro. Like ever. In any racing series. Or at least don't talk about Carl Larson, because I'm doing the drinking game about him. so sideways I mean I know why but this is like more than they were last year they're like con continually sideways Finishes had a fourth and a second back to back at Iowa and Gateway. 
for the 13th at, at Kentucky last time up. Remember that last stretch we saw William Byron in? We're just going to give him the free pass. He's back on the lead lap. Talking about start salvaging on. <laughs> making something, something like that. Making yeah. something out of nothing. That's what this team's attempting to do. And knowing that kid with the talent he has behind the wheel, he could climb up in the top ten before it's over. Caitlin, Bob, Bobby Pierce is leading this race. But if Kyle Larson wants to win this race, he needs options. I just watched Kyle Larson go through this race. Check, check this out. See the straight, stay dry. There's a little bit of oil there. Kyle Larson is helping his own cause. Let's watch him come by again here. He was working this. See, look what he's doing. He's cleaning that area up. Why? He can't run the top because everybody's up there. Kyle Larson is cleaning his groove off. It means he's going to try passing on the bottom. That's what a good dirt race will do. And this King, I know that guy. Let's ask him if that's what he's doing. All right, Kyle, I'm going to come at you one more time. It's Michael. You're in position to win this race again. Do you, do you think you can get there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely think we can get back up there. Uh, DC Solar Chevy is uh, at the track. Like, oh, off my poor neighbor. Uh, and then get up next to that cushion and power off. So we should see that number really grow. Yeah, that's, just <laughs> that's pretty dynamic. Change up there. Tip of the cap to Joey for that, and uh, as he honors Tony Stewart for all that Tony has done for the sport. Let's uh, check in one more time with Tony. Nance, you're, you're probably wondering, what is Wallace doing with the shovel? Take a good look. This is the trophy. They just brought it down to me. When you win the race, you go out on the front straightaway and you dig up a little dirt. This is the trophy. Look here. Got the logo on it. And what I think is awesome is the track is right behind me. And Bobby Pierce is on the front row outside. And there are some funny trophies in, in racing. I, I, I race close. This is, what, this is what he does. That's at Syracuse. For the last six yeah. years, he's yeah. won this big race up at Syracuse. Look at that celebration. So he can start Daytona, too. He can get it done in the dirt. And tonight, he's proven it. Good luck in that truck for freezing. Ontario, Canada driver. And certainly showing folks here that have how well he can get it done. Well, we're just about ready to go back racing after the 41 of Ben Rhodes spoiled down the track. And for Rhodes' efforts of doing that, he and his crew chief have been invited to the NASCAR hauler a little bit later. So Kevin Bellacourt and Ben will take a trip. I'm sure you Just bounced off the wall a little bit too hard, and it 
Jeez, he has no right rear left. The truck chase sucks. Larson's bumper. He had when he raced for Keith Coons in the United States. <laughs> that cell jump could be good in two race inspection. Jeez, man, he's always driving so hard that he's just wrecking his truck. They're always driving the wheels off of that thing. Come on, white flag, white flag, white flag, white flag. He's Larson just about wrecked right there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Does he almost wave the white flag again? Whatever. 